Hello everyone, I am Arpita Sharma. Welcome you all to Arise the Talent which is India's fastest growing e-learning platform. Students, we are discussing coordinate geometry and in that we have covered the distance formula and, and we were talking about the area of triangle. Okay, section formula we have seen. Now area of triangle we have seen and on the basis of area of triangle we have also calculated the area of quadrilateral. Now we are having some type 3 questions here. So for that, for that thing we have to understand the type 3 which is here as this. Type 3 on collinearity of 3 points. Now collinearity means, what do you mean by collinearity? If this is a line, if this is a line, I am having this point A here and I am having this point B here. That means these two points are on the same line. So, these two points are what? Collinear. Now, collinearity of three points means I am having one more point C here. So, that means this A, this B, uh, C and this B. These three points are what? Are collinear to each other. Now, these three points are collinear, uh, collinear to each other. How will you find out? How will you find out if these three, these any given three points are collinear or not? So, we have discussed that if the area of triangle, if the area of triangle of any given three points is computed as zero, that means that three points are surely collinear. So, we have discussed the same thing x1, y2 minus y3 plus y2, uh, sorry, x2, y3 minus y1 and x3, y1 minus y2 is equals to 0. If this condition proves, what is it that we are having this half also here? But anything, anything multiplied by half will be 0 only if this value is 0. There is nothing any, uh, there is nothing any, uh, else than that can be possible that, that that value will be 0 only in the condition when this complete value is 0 then, all the, then only half multiplied by this complete value will be equals to 0. So, there will, be, there will be no use of this half. So, okay we are not using this half and directly we are using this. Now, if I will go with the second formula, the second formula, the second area formula, this is, the, this is exactly the same if you will. If you will open the bracket and you will find these two values are same. So, either this or this have to be 0. If this is 0, that will be also 0. If this is 0, that will be also 0 because both are same. Okay. So, talking about the question, we have to prove that the points A, B plus C, B, C plus A and C, A plus B are collinear. That means we have given three points. Let's suppose this is point A and this is point B and this is point C. Okay, so we are having one uh, one point that is A, second point it's B and the third point is C. Now we are having this or we can uh, have that triangle. Let's suppose this is a triangle. Okay, and we are having this point A, B, C. Likewise, in the other sections we have done that. Okay, so if these are these are collinear that means this, this is not a triangle but this is a line which is having some point A, B and C over there. So, how will we prove? Simply we will prove that the area, this area is equal to 0. This area equals to 0 that means three, these three lines actually does not exist. There is a only single line which exists in real. So, we will be having this point as x1, y1, this b point as x2, y2. And this C point is X3 and Y3. Now, this is all rough work I am uh, telling you about. The actual procedure is, I should rub this, okay. How will you write the question in your examination? The solution part, okay. First, I am going to divide this. Now, we will talk about the given parameters. Now, given given a which is equals to a b plus c. Now, b, I am just imagining that there is a supposition that this a, b and c are the three points. Okay. So, b, c plus a and and 
and the C. This point C, which is equals to C A plus B, is equals to is equals to what? A x one y one, B x two y two, and C x three y three. Okay, if that's so, if that's so, then if the points are collinear, then then our formula here x one and something then y sorry not y one but x two. Okay, so x two. And something and x three and something will be equals to zero. Now, what are these values in the bracket? If I go with the one, there will be two. So here x, so here y, so y two minus y three. Now, if it's two, then after two there will be a three. After three there will be a one. Okay, three after three there will be a one and then two. So one two three, one two three. And one, two, three, right? So I'll be just putting the values here. Putting the values here. X one, x one is what this a plus x two, which is b plus x three. This is c. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So that will be y two. Now y two. This is x one, y one, x two, um, y two, and x three. You don't have to write it in an examination, but it's for our convenience. So y two minus y three. So y two is here. C minus a, C plus a, and y three. A minus b. Now minus of a plus b is minus a minus b. Minus a minus b. Now b. Okay. X two now y three and y one so y three as it is a plus b and now y one so y one is b plus c so here it will become because of minus minus b minus b uh, minus c now x three right it is c here now y one minus y two so y one is b plus c okay b plus c and minus of y two minus of y two minus c minus a. Right? Okay. So, is it zero or not? If is it zero? If this value is zero, that means the points are collinear. Okay. So, that's equals to a. Now, cut the crap. This to this. Here, b to b. Here, c to c. So, what you have remained with is a multiplied by the c. So, a c. Minus of a b, okay. Then plus of a b, and then minus of c b or b c. Then plus of b and c, okay. And then minus of a and c. Right. Now, students, this is minus a b. This is plus a b. Right. And there is a minus b c, and this is a plus b c. Right. And there is minus AC, and there is plus AC. So basically, cancels out, cancels out, and cancels out. Okay, so this is a big zero, right? Implies area triangle ABC equals to zero. Now. That can only be possible if if A B C are collinear. So, hands proved. Hands proved. So, what you need to do? You need to copy this. Just copy this so that we can move forward, guys. Okay, copied. Right.
Now next is what? Let me look. I hope you have understood the concept here. Okay. These are all application part, the type questions. Okay. In one question, you are finding the value of uh, area of quadrilateral, but you have provided with only the formula of area of a triangle. So basically what you are doing, you are applying this concept of area of triangle into the quadrilateral. So this is the basic application part guys. So type 4 question on finding the desired result or unknown points when 3 points are collinear. Now the 3 points are collinear that means, that means that the complete formula if we remove the half from there that will be equals to 0 and by that you can calculate the value of an unknown because you are having one unknown and the one equation okay so if i'll go with the question there's a question that for what value of k are the points k 2 minus 2k minus k plus 1 and 2k and minus 4 minus k and 6 minus 2k are collinear if i'll start this question right from there okay solution part not from the solution but the given things okay okay so let a a point okay so a point is what k k and 2 minus 2 k then b which is minus k plus 1 and 2 k right and C, which is minus 4 minus k and 6 minus 2k. So basically, these are what? These are x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. So this is A, x1, y1. This is B, x2, y2. And this is C, x3, y3. Now, if I will talk about the solution part, if A, B, C are, uh -huh. so I will write, if A, B, C are collinear, then then what? We know the formula here. Okay. So, we will be having the formula here which is x1 which is x1 y2 minus y3 right plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 should be equals to 0. Okay. If that follows, what follows? If it follows that the a, b, c are collinear, then you have to, you have this uh, thing that this should be 0. So, simply implies that we will put the, putting the values, we will put the values, putting the values and let it be the equation number. 1. Putting the values in equation 1. Okay. So, if you put the values here, that will be x1. Now, x1 is k. k plus something then minus k plus 1 multiply by something and then plus minus 4 minus k multiply by something equals to 0. Now, what is this something? If I am talking about x1, that will be y2, y2 that is 2k minus y3 that is 6 minus 2k, 6 minus 2k. Now, minus of 6 minus 2k will be minus 6 plus 2k, minus 6 plus 2k. Okay. So, this is about x1, y2, y3. Now, this is x2. So, there will be y3. So, y3 is what? 6 minus 2k. 6 minus 2k as it is minus of y1. 
y1 is 2 minus 2k. So, that will be minus 2 and plus of 2k. Okay. Okay. Because minus minus plus. Okay. Now, if I go talk about this plus of x3, after x3, there will be y1 and y2. So, y1 is here 2 minus 2k and then y2 minus 2k. That should be equals to 0 for sure. Okay. That implies that if I solve this, that will be k here. 2k, 2k is 4k, 4k plus 6. 4k, sorry, minus 6. Okay. Plus, okay, minus k plus 1. Right? Minus k plus 1. And then 6 minus. 2 is 4. Minus 2 plus 2 cancels out. Now, here it will be plus of minus 4 minus k. Minus 4 minus k. Here, 2 minus 4k. 2 minus 4k equals to 0. If I will solve this equation, that will be 4k square. 4k square minus 6k plus minus minus so minus k and plus 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 so plus 1 multiply by 4 so 4 k here and 4 here right now if I will uh, have that thing so what I will do I will multiply this 2 with this so that will be 2 multiply or what I should do I will have to have a bracket here. So, that will be minus 4 multiplied by 2 minus 8. Now, minus 4 multiplied by minus 4k. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 4k. So, minus minus plus 4 multiplied by 4 16. Okay. And k as it is. I am talking about this minus k. So, minus 2k here. Minus 2k here. Right. Minus minus plus again. Plus of 4 Right, 4 and k square equals to 0. So, so here is a plus. So, if I will uh, open this bracket, so there will be no changes of sign. Now, 4k square plus 4k square and here also plus of 4k square. So, plus 4k square and plus 4k square. Any uh, k squares? No. That will be 8k squares. Right. Now, 6 minus 4. So, minus 10k. Minus 10k plus 16k. Minus 10 plus 16. That is 6k. So, 6k. Now, 6k minus 2k is minus 4k. Minus 4k. Okay. Now, that is, that is minus 8. Minus 8 equals to 0. So, what will I uh, do? I will take common 4. That will be 2k square minus k minus 2 is equals to 0. If I will go with the factors, there will be 2 twos are 4. Now, 4 factors are 4 and 1. Okay. So, by 4 and 1, can I make something like that? No. Now, 2 and 2. So, there will be something about that. 2 and 2. So, I will be, I'll, I'll be getting this minus k. No. That will be minus 4. Okay. Minus 3. No. So, I can have this value a equals to a equals to 2 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 2. Right. So, if that's so, there will be the value of k will be b plus minus minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So, that will be k equals to minus of b. So, minus of minus 1 is plus 1 plus minus root of b square. Root of b square is minus 1 minus 4. 4 is 4. A is 2 and c is minus 2. So, that is 4 
and 4 that is 16 right by 2 multiply by a which is 2. So, k will be equals to if you solve this that will be 1 plus minus root of 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16 minus minus plus so 16 minus 1 that is plus ok 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 so that will be 16 minus 16 so minus 16 and minus that will be plus 16 plus 16 plus 1 is 17 so that will be the values of k ok so this is the value of k note it so that we can move forward what you have done done in that particular equation you find out the value of k how you Assume that this equation is basically will be equals to 0 if these, these points are collinear and then you will find that. Okay. So, note this. Okay. So, here is a correction. Which correction is there? When you solve that particular, we have these two values and when we solve this, that will be minus 4k. So, we have written here 4k and here there will be a plus 4. So, we have not uh, written the plus 4 here. Okay. So, here we will be adding plus 4. So, complete equation will be like that all, uh, only but, but we will be adding plus 4 in this equation. Okay. So, that will be plus 4 equals to 0. So, that will be 8k square minus 4k. Right. And this is minus 4 equals to 0. That is why that uh, answer will be uh, was a uh, little odd okay so that will be if we'll take four common here that will be 2k square minus k minus 1 equals to 0 now 2 multiply by 1 is 2 and 2 minus 2 and plus 1 will give you k okay so 2k square minus 2k plus k minus 1 equals to 0. Now, it is same 2k square minus k minus 1 equals to 0. If we will take 2k common, if we will take 2k common, that will be k minus 1 and if we will take 1 common, that will be k minus 1. Now, have this value k, uh, 2k plus 1 and k minus 1. What that imply is, what this imply is 2k equals to what? k equals to 1 by 2. The first value from 2k plus 1 will, will be uh, minus 1 by 2. So, that will be minus 1 by 2 and from here you will be having k equals to k equals to 1. So, these are the two values. These are the two values k equals to minus 1 and k equals to 1. For these values of k equals to minus 1 by 2 and 1, there will be the collinear ABCs. Okay. Now, note this. Noted, you have noted till uh, there. Okay. So, just correct that part only. Now, rubbing this. Okay. Okay. Now, mixed problem based upon the concept of area of a triangle. Now, what is this mixed problem based on, upon the concept of area of triangle? What are the mixed problems when you uh, apply some concept from there, from co some concept from there? Okay, and I have also told you then there are some concept, uh, concept which are which have been picked from the uh, other uh, chapters like triangles or circles, you will see that quadrilateral. Okay, so the question, this question is for uh, your home assignment. You will be doing it from your at your home, and we'll talk about it. If the coordinates of two points A and B are this and this, respectively, find the coordinates of any point P if P A equals to P B and area of triangle P A B equals to ten. That means clearly there is a triangle which is P A B. That means there is a triangle, clearly a triangle which is PAB. Not saying that 
a and b no a and b is 3 comma 4 right and 5 comma minus 2 now this is what this is your x1 and y1 and this is clearly your x2 and y2 now what's saying that find the coordinates of any point p if p a equals to p b so p a these two sides are equal right that means if you consider these coordinates as an x and y i'm giving you a hint okay so if you are uh, considering that uh, as x and y the distance between these two and the distance between these two will be same and the area is also given area is also given so you know the half and the complete formula that is equals to 10 understood it or not okay so you have provided with this inf this information now you have to find out the coordinates of point that means you have to find out these x and y's so use your brains and have a look on the arise talent sheets and find some more interesting questions on that and try to solve them okay till then take care guys okay bye bye